Hello. Um, my hair is so short, I didn't realise that I'd cut it this short. Today I'm going to be dyeing my hair, um, re dyeing it blue, as you can see. I usually have blue hair, but it's washed out. I'm also going to be attempting to cut a fringe today as well, but we'll see how we get on with that. I apologise about the whole no makeup situation, but um, it's a weekend, I'm off work, it's 3am. You know, why was I want to put makeup on? But anyway, yeah, the first thing that I'm going to do is attempt to cut a fringe because I've been wanting a fringe for the longest time. It's been a while since I've had a fringe. Um, I usually cut my own fringe along with most of my other hair I usually cut as well. Um, see, I want to put layers into this because it's just a straight sort of bob at the moment. But I don't know, I'll see how I feel when I've got my fringe and then I'm going to be dyeing it and I'll show you later what dye I'm going to use and all that. So I've gathered up all of the hair that I'm going to have as my fringe. Um, obviously I don't really know what I'm doing. Like I've cut my fringe so many times before but um, I still don't really know what I'm doing. So I'm hoping that no one who is a professional hairdresser sees this. Yeah, I've just got the section that I want to cut and I'm just going to start like, you know, Taking bits off until I get to my desired fringe then. Um, I know that it's not going to be this long, but it just makes a start. So, makes a start to it. I'll be back once I've actually done it. I've I tried to sort of <laughs> fix it by curling my hair um, but I'm sure once I've trained my hair to stay in this position then I can cut it a bit better because um, it's still trying to have that parting up there. I'm just going to go ahead and dye it now. So this is the dye that I use. I use Midnight Blue by Directions. Um, I've got half a tub here and then a full tub here but obviously as you can see um, I've got short hair now and I also have really thin hair as well so this is going to be plenty for my hair. Obviously I just need to like push out my hair. That's a mirror that I'm going to be looking into. See what I mean? Like it looks okay but um, it's going to be a whole lot more better once it's actually trying to sit in that position and then I can cut it properly. But I don't think I did a massively bad job but it's really hard when your hair's not fully trained like it kept on um going into the part that i was on about earlier it kept on doing that when i was trying to cut it to be fair it looks more so like that where it's like half up half down does it i don't know i'm trying to make myself feel a bit better about the cut that i just gave myself what time is it where have i put those now I've got a towel underneath me today, which I never thought of before. I've been dying my hair for that flipping long, and I've never thought to put a towel underneath me. Obviously, I need the gloves because else I'm going to be staining my flipping hands blue all over again. Um, I've got a little brush. I've got a few little brushes that I can apply the dye with. I'm just putting it through my hair. I don't really have. Um, I did show you a brush, but half the time I don't use a brush. Half the time I don't bother to put gloves on, so I think that having gloves on is just a massive step forward. I really wasn't expecting to do this. I mean, I fell asleep, and then I woke up about half two, and I was like, do I do my hair now? It's a bit too, too late. Like, I work nights, so I kind of want to be in bed by about 6am, um, just so I can get a good sleep in and start my week off as best as I can but I woke up at 3am and I was like do I really dye my hair now and then I just said like it will be worth it come on I don't even have that much hair because originally the reason why I wanted a fringe was I think it would still look nice just blue but originally I wanted a fringe so I could do it like green fringe and a, like a few parts at the side like lime green sort of thing but I really don't have enough time to be bleaching my fringe today. I don't have the time or the patience right now to bleach my fringe. 
I'm not sure how much I'd have to bleach it either to get the blue out um, because the only green dyes that I have are Lunar Tides and for me to get it over to the UK is so expensive and I really don't want to be wasting it, do you know what I mean? Because um, it's not a UK brand, it's from the US and I've got to get it imported in. So it's pretty expensive to get Lunar Tides over to me. Um, that's why I sort of stick with Directions, but Directions has never been a problem for me. Like, I was watching a video the other day of a girl that used Directions and it literally, like, didn't do anything to her hair. And I was like, it couldn't be me, because it's always worked for me. I think that that's first section done. Oh, done. I literally have the thinnest hair, so this is simply all I do. I section it into, like, three different sections, working from the underneath to the top of my hair. Um, and that's literally all I do. Shall I tie this up? This is so hard now that I've cut my fringe first. Like, I would have dyed it and then cut my fringe, but the thing is, though, in my head, I'm just like, well, I'm basically wasting dye on hair that's not even giving me the hair once it is dyed. Um, so yeah, this is the look that we've got now. I've now got the last section to do. So that's this top bit here. So here's what we're looking like i'm looking around for some sort of wipes that i can wipe this blue off my forehead but yeah um this is what it looks like obviously i've got to just wait for it to develop and then i can wash it out and i can show you the results kind of need to get this blue off my forehead as soon as i can out so we're gonna have a stained forehead Let's look at that majority of my hands aren't stained that is so good for me like i always end up staining my hands i finished one of these tubs and then i'll show you how much i got left of this one more than half so whether i'll be able to stretch for another like full head of hair with that i don't know i'll be back once it's time for me to wash this all out so it's now time to wash this off it's gone like really dry and stuff i can't even remember how long i've had it in um, usually I'll leave it in for a good hour. Have I even got... I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. Let's have a look at what colour my hair's turned. Stop that. I've been using this hair dye for the past few times that I've been dyeing my hair. So I sort of trust what it's going to turn out like. But you can never be too sure. So I'm going to go ahead and dry my hair. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to spray some of this into it and also um, some heat protector but this is one of those um, the 10 in 1 miracle spray that everyone was raving about on TikTok I don't use it often enough to actually see much of a difference I broke my mirror that used to be at my desk um, so now I've only got my full length mirror that's down there and also um, my full length mirror that's in my spare room and then I've also got my bathroom mirror that I've actually like took off the wall and I can't get it back up. Um, so I'm going to have to see about that. But I took it off the wall so I could sit down while I was doing my hair. Um, and I wouldn't have to lean over the sink. I'm going to try and also fix my fringe. Try and sort of dry it down so it's in a better position. Let's, let's go and fix this. Let's go and make this a bit more even. So this is what we're looking like now. Um, I'm, gonna dry, I'm gonna dry my hair. <laughs> so this is what we're looking like right now. I'm hoping that once I've styled it and stuff, it will look a bit better. So I'm gonna style it. It is, I'm not going anywhere basically, um, but I'm still gonna style it and see um, <clears throat> what I need to do when I style it and stuff and hopefully it works out. Um, but if not, then we'll, we'll do something else with it. Okay, so here we go. Um, I've tied it up into like a little half or half down. It was just too flat and like, I don't know how to describe it, but it just looks a whole lot better with this little thing at the top, which I don't mind putting in every day. And then I've obviously just curled my um, fringe and that's pretty much it. I've got, looks like I've been eating the hair dye because I've got a little stain over here. But I'm actually really happy with this. Um, it probably needs a bit of a touch up. I think that this side down here needs to go a bit more so it can match that side um but apart from that i'm pretty i'm pretty happy um so yeah 